From her famous book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, the author Carol Dweck divided how people think about success and adversity into two main categories based on the mindset each person has. There's the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. In the fixed mindset, you feel that your talent, intelligence, and ability for success are fixed. It means you have them or you don't. And if you don't, you can't do anything to acquire them because they are a given thing. The person with a fixed mindset tends to avoid challenges because he fears that if he fails, he'll look weak and stupid. He usually gives up easily when he fails at something. And he tends to believe that he's superior or inferior to other people. He also tends to make less effort to solve his problems. Because if he has a superiority complex, he thinks, I'm brilliant, so this problem does not have to take much of my time. And if he has an inferiority complex, he thinks, I'm going to fail anyways, so why bother in doing this? And finally, people with a fixed mindset tend to ignore feedback. Because as we said before, they already believe that they are superior or inferior to other people. Negative feedback threatens their sense of superiority. They read it like this. I'm not as brilliant as I think I am. So their first response to that message is to reject it. And if they have an inferiority complex, negative feedback confirms that they are not good enough and that they will never be. So they take that feedback in the form of judgment, not as an advice. They read it like this. I'm not good. This feedback proves that I'm not good and I'm meant to be that way. Now let's talk about the growth mindset. The growth mindset is the opposite of the fixed mindset. In this state, you feel that your talent, intelligence and ability for success are improvable. It means by doing something again and again and then learning from your mistakes, you'll eventually become better at what you do. The person with a growth mindset tends to see challenges as opportunities for learning and becoming better. He perseveres in the face of failure. He doesn't think that he's superior or inferior to other people. People are better at things simply because they're spending more time practicing and doing these things. He also tends to believe that effort is required to build new skills and he loves feedback because through it, he becomes better at what he does. The difference between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. The main difference between these two mindsets is about what you identify yourself with. People with a fixed mindset identify themselves with a self-image. I'm intelligent, I'm gifted, I'm successful, etc. This identification makes them weak because they are always striving to maintain that identity, consciously or unconsciously. And the best way to preserve the image of you being intelligent is by never testing your intelligence in real life and never exposing yourself to real challenges. People with growth mindsets identify themselves with the process. They don't believe they are intelligent. Instead, they believe that they can find a solution to any problem no matter how difficult it is. And if they can't, in the moment, they go learn more and then they come back and solve it. Are you in the fixed mindset or the growth mindset? Every one of us is on the fixed mindset in some areas of his life and in the growth mindset in other areas of his life. So your job is to identify the specific area that you want to develop in your life and then find out what mindset do you hold in that specific area. There are a lot of tests on the internet to identify which mindset do you hold, so I encourage you to take one of them. How to change from the fixed mindset to the growth mindset. To change from the fixed mindset to the growth mindset, first you need to be conscious that you are in the fixed mindset, and then simply start doing the stuff that a man in a growth mindset does. It's simple, yet very difficult. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.